Why is the home environment important? And what learning opportunities can parents and family offer the child, which will help the child's development? Stick around and I'm going to discuss these in more detail. Parents are the most important educators of their child, and so the home environment is very important to children. We've studied many thousands of children from birth right through to adulthood. And we have collected information about what happens in the home environment for these children. And we collected uh, information on many activities that happened in the homes. And we found that certain kinds of activities were consistently linked with the child's longer term development. And when we analyze what are what is common about these activities is that these activities offer a learning opportunity for the child. And therefore, we coined the concept of the home learning environment. And we find the home learning environment in the early years has impact on the child's long-term development, uh, both educationally and socially. So what is it about the home learning environment that makes a difference? Well, as I said before, it's the learning opportunities. It could be learning uh, to read, you know, where the child and the mother read together. Initially, the mother reading to the child. And this could be picture books, could be story books and so on. When the child's a bit older, you may get the child starting to recognize the words on the page, maybe reading back a bit to the mother and the mother can listen to the child reading. But that would be all with older children. Initially, it's very much the parent reading to the child. As well as reading to the child, you could do made up stories. You don't have to read to the child. You may have stories about your own lives, about what happened to your parents, about what happened to other people in your community. And you can tell those stories to the child. And those are learning opportunities for the child. But the other kinds of learning opportunities might be playing with numbers in the home, uh, playing with shapes and letters, playing with jigsaws, learning a song, a poem, a nursery rhyme, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Children love music, and so uh, songs, poems, dance, etc., are all good examples of learning opportunities that can happen in the home. Different cultures will have different things that they want their children to learn about. This doesn't matter in the terms of the development of the child, in that a child can learn about many different things, and the learning opportunities you provide can be very different from culture to culture. So in one culture, certain aspects of activity may be much more important than other in other cultures. But what's important to the child is that a range of learning opportunities are provided in the home. That's what makes the difference. The content, as I say, of those learning opportunities can vary a lot from home to home. Some people like to teach their children sports. Some children like to learn about books. Some children like to learn about mechanical things, etc. Therefore, you can go with the child's interests, but you can expand on those child's interests in the way that you provide uh, information and experiences for the child. And those learning opportunities, they are very valuable to the child. Also, when the child is under five, the language experiences of the child, as I said before, are very important. So in these learning activities, enrich the language you give to the child. Talk to the child around the activities, about the activities, so the child can link the language to the activity itself. And uh, this will enhance the child's language development as well as the learning activity itself, okay? Also think about out of home activities, which you could do visits to the library, visits to an interesting place. Uh, and when you go to these places, even something as basic as going to the beach or going to the park, talk about what you're experiencing when you go on those visits. And that makes it into a learning opportunity for the child. And so these everyday activities are helping the child in, a great, in, in many, many ways. It enhances the child's language development, uh, it enhances the child's range of experience in terms of new things to do. And what it also does, when the child has many different learning opportunities, the child learns to learn. That is, they develop the ability to learn for themselves. That ability becomes very valuable when a child starts school because they're not totally dependent 
on the quality of the teaching because they can learn to some extent for themselves. So you should enhance the range of experiences you offer to the child and make them regular. You know, not something that happens on a very occasional basis. Something that happens pretty regularly. Most days, there's some kind of learning opportunity taking place. Another area of development which helps a lot in, in these learning opportunities is what we call self-regulation. This is the ability to control their own behavior and control their emotions. And in interacting with the child in home learning activities and in the learning office, activities you offer to the child, get the child to take control of the situation and encourage the child to take control of the situation and structure the, uh, the experiences so the child can learn most readily from, from them. So the home learning environment is very valuable to children. Uh, it needs to be varied, a range of activities, it needs to in involve lots of language use, and it needs to be regular and frequent. Now, we've talked about the range of learning activities which children can do in the home. Now, you don't need fancy toys for this. This can be around the everyday objects in the home, pots and pans, the furniture, the things a child sees around him or her. You know, you, it doesn't need any special apparatus or toys. So it doesn't need to be expensive. It doesn't need to cost anything, actually. It just needs the parent and the child to interact together more around learning opportunities for the child. And those learning opportunities can be everyday objects, can involve everyday objects, everyday events, everyday experiences. And if you do that, your child will be better placed to deal with the world outside and better placed for their long-term development. And our evidence backs that up.